Hey what's going on everyone welcome back to yet another video in this video I will try to make my android phone as a DOP monitor or as an extra screen for my Nikon D3200 camera I never tried this before so we will go through this journey together let's start the video but before that 98% of my viewers are not subscribed hey guys if you are not liking these videos let me know in the comment section how i can improve these videos otherwise consider subscribing that's something you guys can do for me thank you let's start the video what do we need for the video a camera which is obvious in this case i am using nikon d3200 a android phone a hot shoe mount the usb cable comes with the camera a phone holder or mount OTG USB type A to type C converter. I got this from Samsung smartphone. Now download the DSLR control plus app on the phone. If you guys can recommend any other app which is better, do let me know in the comment section. I will check those. So connect your hot shoe mount with the phone holder. Connect the mount with the camera. Put the phone on the holder. Connect the OTG converter with the cable and connect the phone with the camera with the cable. First we want to cover the photos. So we will try to use that phone as an extra screen to capture photos. So let's see. Now let's open the DSLR control plus app. As you can see the remote control and gallery option are working in the free version. Other options are basically for pro version of the app. But I think it's enough for us. You can turn on the live view mode by pressing this button. Enable the histogram, change the aperture, ISO, shutter speed on the live view. You can focus by touch. The only downside I can find is that physical shutter button is not working. But you can use touch screen to capture. But the photo capture looks a little bit slow but it's totally usable. I am really impressed by the app so if you guys are struggling to focus using viewfinder you can use this app and improve your focus. You can see the photos directly on the phone and also can transfer it directly in the phone. I can give it a pass for photos. Now comes the video part. I cannot find any option for the video then I check their app description where it clearly mentioned Nikon D3200 is not supported for this feature. So we are out of luck here. But if you are using any other cameras which is supported, you can use this app for using the phone as an external monitor. I have found another app called QDSLR dashboard but it's a paid app. I think the live view mode will work on this but I didn't try that one since I don't want to pay for an app which I will never use. If you guys already use that app, let me know in the comment section is it working or not working for the video mode. It may help some of you who want to know about it. In my opinion, if you are using a DSLR, try to learn how to focus using the viewfinder if you don't have a live view mode for photos. It may sound hard as we are used to take photos looking at the screens of our smartphone, but trust me, it's not that much hard. You will get through this eventually. So that's it for this video. If you like this video and want more videos like this, let me know in the comment section and hit that like button and subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace.